They say that every picture tells a story, but the first film they're going to see doesn't tell the whole story. We were going to North Berwick, to the Bass Rock, and everything was set for us. The tide was right, the weather was perfect, the sea was calm, the boat was standing there, and just as we were about to leave, a fishing boat came through the narrow harbour entrance and stuck fast. Couldn't get through. And it was grounded there until the afternoon. So, how are we going to spend the morning? Well, right above us was a peak. And I can't resist the hill at any time. So, when I suggested to the camera crew and the director that we might just salvage our time by going up the hill and taking a look at North Berwick from the top, it'd be an interesting idea. And it was great. Things held, went like clockwork. A beautiful, gentle climb to a very narrow summit with a very exceptional view. Ah well, I never could resist a shapely peak and this wee beauty is North Berwick Law. It's an old volcano and it's one of the great landmarks of the Fifth of Forth. Ah, it's a right wee mountain, nice enough. The way it rises so steeply as you go up, it gets even steeper. Wee rock outcrops always break it up nicely. It's not great rock for climbing, mind you, because it really is a way typically volcanic. You can't really trust anything unless it's really soundly fixed. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh, boy, this is going to be good. Oh, this is the sharpest of all the wee volcanoes around here. It's right up to a point. So I won't get the view until I get to the actual top. And there it is. Right down there, North Berwick, the harbour, through the jaws of a whale. The only hill in Scotland will find that. Sweeping down across there, the Bass Rock and beyond, nothing but the sea. Nothing out there except Scandinavia. What a contrast though in here, this flowing quilt of fields extending right down to the wildest bit of the Berwickshire coast. And in this other direction, the indentations of the sea, and right across the Forth, the Fifeshire Lomans, Arthur's Seat, the Pentlands, and a beautiful piece of flowing country swinging right round over rocky tops to Trap Rain Law, an old Iron Age fort. And this place where I'm standing was once a fort too, a defended position, which is true of nearly all these very prominent isolated hills. A big reward for 612 feet. This is the hill that provided pink stone to build the old town and harbour. Wonderfully convenient in more ways than one, for the peak was used as a lookout in the Napoleonic Wars. And this old ruin was the actual lookout post. And right beside it is a concrete one which dates to the 1914-18 war. And just above that are the old jawbones which were put there in 1936 to replace another pair that dated back to 1709. Oh well, it's time for the jog down now to the town and I'm going to have a stroll round it and have a look at all the wee streets that go down to the promontory right on the edge of the water.